His list of pupils includes Lee Westwood, Ian Poulter, Nick Price, and current PGA Tour FedEx Cup points leader Charles Howell III. J.J. Rive's aim is simple, to optimize a golfer's swing based on physical abilities. The way he comes to that conclusion is cutting edge. Tom Abbott is with the man considered to be the leader in biomechanics. Tom? Well, thank you very much. We're joined on the Academy set by J.J. Rive, one of the world's leading biomechanics, and Ben Dawn, who's an associate producer with us here at the Golf Channel. Very good player, played collegiate golf to a very high level. And you two have been working together. We'll talk about that in just a moment. But first, I want to ask you, J.J., what are biomechanics and what do you do at your Adidas Center at Terra Blanche down in the south of France? Tell us about that. So first of all, biomechanics is uh, purely the uh, science uh, which is able to uh, analyze the body in motion and uh, which, which is able also to pinpoint certain problematic you could have in your body and how that will interfere in the, in the motion. So that's why um, the biomechanics is uh, something uh, seems to be very complicated uh, from outside, but is uh, afterward and you, you, you have been able to look at that is very simple when it is applied. What we do is reapply biomechanics. It's not research biomechanics. Now run us through those uh, philosophies that you have just quickly at the center that you sort of work on, your matrix for working on pupils. Yeah, so at the center we have, um, the concept is can be broken down in four stages. The first stage is a biomechanical and physiological analysis of the human body. So we are able to pinpoint uh, different uh, problematics that you could have. We are all different, and so we have all uh, abilities. And now you did that with uh, Ben. Show us what uh, show us what the problems were when you first looked at Ben okay. in that uh, first stage. So the just to to go quickly because we sure. have many uh, many tests, you know, right. that goes around, and so I would just pinpoint the problematic he has because okay. he has not a lot of problematics, so that's uh, that's quite good, you know. <laughs> he's first of all, he's very flexible, you know, so uh, we'll see that uh, that in the future. The, the most important thing is that he was, uh, he was very restricted in, in this range of motion of his shoulder. So um, we'll see after how we do we, how we will improve that. Right. The second thing was uh, the, the disability he has to, to create uh, a certain test we have, so you, you, can, you can look, is to be able to rotate his hips without leaving the foot ground, the foot grounding. So uh, at the beginning, it was just enough to, to turn on the left side by 25 degrees. On the right side, he was able to turn at more than 45 degrees. Okay. So we have different tests. We have, uh, and we have been working with David uh, in the sure. past for a lot. And so we have been able to pinpoint certain uh, characteristics that you should have in your golf swing. For okay. example, in the golf swing, what we want for a guy who, who plays right-hander, it should be better to have more uh, uh, range of motion in this direction okay. on the left side rather than on the right side. Why? Because we want to create resistance at the backswing and we want to release uh, the, the hips without losing the foot grounding. Okay. So that was one of the compartments uh, he has. The, the third compartment, uh, which was a little bit problematic, was his left foot, which was more pronated than the right foot. Okay. So that created a disbalance in his, uh, in his right, legs. Right, well, uh, well, Ben's going to take off a shoe there and show an insole <laughs> yeah. that we got to. But before we... So, um, yeah, before making the insoles, because the insoles come for the solution, sure. I will sh just show you the, the problematic he has. So maybe just without, uh, when he was, uh, so hop, we'll just see his knees. You see normally when he was, uh, when he was uh, go, uh, flexing, his knees was pointing inside the first metatarsus. So we use a system we call the wine last mechanism in his case, you know, and now he's able to have his knees on the second. So which is very important because that helps him to to maintain the very high ground force, you know, from uh, from the ground. So for that, to maintain, as he will not be able to always having his toe up. Sure. So we have been creating an insoles to to help right. him to to maintain this. Uh, but that's come from uh, sure. as a solution. You went uh, after you'd done the analysis, Ben. You went down to the David Ledger, David, Le David Ledbetter Academy. I should say that you work with uh, David, of course, at uh, the Centre at Champions Gate. And tell us briefly what happened and uh, the, the problems that were Sean Hogan pinpointed in your swing, and then the work that you did with JJ after the uh, problems were. Yeah, it, it was very interesting. Uh, Sean Hogan uh, identified two major faults that he wanted to have me fix, um, and they were pretty basic. Basically, uh, setup, stance, posture, and I have an ability to tilt my shoulders far too steep and have to make compensations to shallow out the golf club. Um, once he identified two major flaws that I have in my swing, I worked with JJ, and he was able to first create the insoles in my shoes, right. which immediately 
changed my posture. I felt much more balanced, much more stable, which is obviously a huge key to golf. Secondly, was worked on my hip flexor, my left hip flexor, which you mentioned earlier, an ability to get more rotation. Okay. I uh, massaged, uh, massaged my left hip flexor, and immediately I found uh, a greater range of motion. And uh, it's it's not exactly a massage. It's, you know, it's a it's a machine. It's LPG machine. Sure. We have on the it felt on like the a tour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It uh, it helps to release the tension. So it works essentially on the fascia. On the on the aponeurosis, uh, right. which are around the muscles, that's why it's so quick, you know, to, to relieve the tension you you have. Exactly. And as you see, you've been turning from 35 to 80 degrees. Yeah, that's and it was remarkable. Cool. I really didn't think that would make a difference, or I would notice it in the first time I was able to, to perform that. So basic after drill. the um, after the you'd gone through and you'd used the LPG machines and doing a couple of uh, other exercises, you got the swing setter out, and you yep. went through and uh, tried to work the biomechanics into improving his golf swing, correct? Yeah. J just to just to come back at the beginning, so you, when you say what are the stages we use, you know, in, right. in the concepts of the first stage, as, like we say, which was, uh, was the biomechanical analysis. The second stage, which is for us very important, is the analysis, you know, that we conduct with a coach. Right. And for sure, here in, in, we uh, in uh, here we work with, uh, with David and, David, and right. Sean again. And so the third stage is a solution. The okay. solutions that conduct, you know, we want we don't want to to release the tension of the left legs for nothing, you know. Right. It's just because we want to improve something. We will answer to a question of the coach. Okay. The coach asks his question. We answer to his question, and we see if it's possible or not to 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 have sure. the resolution of this solution. That's why the solution was the LPG was the insults, and also like you say, the swing setter. The swing setter for us is very is, is a is a is a, an instrument which is very important because it really helps to feel to feel a difference, you know, in your new uh, balance. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe you can talk about that in uh, in the video we have been taken. Yeah, you know, it was interesting when I learned how to make the swing setter work. Um, well, first of all, I wanted to use my my hands and my lower body to try and set the golf club. And once I was able to establish some stability in my left leg, I learned that it's the core muscles and not my hands and my arms that make the swing setter work properly. And it was a big difference from when I took a full swing. Um, my left leg is completely unbalanced and off the ground actually, versus once I recognized that and was able to be much more stable with the insole, that uh, my left leg stayed a lot more stable. So. And, and here comes the, fir the fourth stage, right. which is the validation. Right. And so you can see now on the video, the before and, uh, and after uh, we have been uh, uh, doing with uh, with Ben and uh yeah, it's very interesting stuff. And of course, you can take away the insult. I mean, it's in it very uh, unique that you can have something to take away so quickly, having just worked for only a couple of hours out at Champions Gate. And of yeah. course, you do this work with a lot of European tour yeah. players like Raphael Jacquelin, Jean Van der Velde, Nick Doherty down at Terra Blanche, and uh, we've really seen some very interesting results. Ben, thank you very much thank for coming you, in. It's it been, a lot uh, of fun. been great JJ, to uh, it. have you along board, well. JJ. Thank you very much thank for coming in as well from uh, Terra Blanche down there in the south of France. You also got a centre in Hong Kong and you work here at uh, Champions Gate in Orlando. Thank you to the both of you, and let's you. get back to the desk now. All right, thanks, Tom and JJ. Good stuff. Well, to recap, the procedure is done in four stages. First, the golfer's body is scanned, followed by an analysis of the skeletal movement during the golf swing. The third stage is where the player's